Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to actually use our calculator in order to find some of our summary statistics. Now, let's just say that we have a data set such as this. We've got four scores there. We've got two, three, four, and five, and all of the frequencies. Now, in order to find the average, in order to find the mean of that data set, we could actually add up all the individual scores and divide by 35, since there's 35 scores in total, or we could actually learn to input it into our calculator and let our calculator do all the work for us. Now the first step in order to do this is to actually have our calculator in the right mode. Now you should see at the top of your calculator that it will have um, a D for degrees um, and then nothing else. What we want to do is actually put it into a stat mode. And the way that we do that is we click the mode button here, click mode, and we want number two which is stat. So if we click number two, we get stat. Now this menu comes up. Um, now if you have a look at our data set, we've got our frequency column, which is our F column, and we've got our score column, which is actually our variable. This X, the, the score here in our X column is actually our variable that's varying. So it can be a 2, a 3, a 4, or 5. It varies um, according to you know whatever the data is of, whether it's ages or time or whatever it is. Um, and we only have one of those variables. So we actually want to choose number one here, one variable. And you'll see that my X column now comes up. Now in a minute I'm going to actually put in those scores, the two, three, four, and five. But for the moment, what I need to work out is how to get a frequency column. So the way that I do it, if I just click AC, that just kind of clears, it takes me back to just a, a standard screen there. And now what I want to do is click this setup part here. Now you'll see that it's in yellow. So in order to get and to access that yellow setup menu, I need to press shift first and then setup. And you'll get this menu here. If you click down a page, you'll see number three there is stat. And if I click that, I want to turn my frequency on. So I choose number one. Now, now I've turned my frequent I've turned my stat on and I've turned my frequency on. And you'll see that up the top here, we have a little stat sort of a word there. That means you're actually in stat mode. And if you're in stat mode, then what you can access is this stat menu down here, just above the number one. You'll notice it's in yellow again, so we have to press shift first, and then number one to access it. And this is going to be your main stat menu, really. Um, all sorts of things you can use and you can find using this menu. Uh, but before we can do really anything, we need to actually input our data. So we choose number two, which is data. You'll see I have an X and a frequency column, score and frequency. And now I simply put it in. Best way to put it in is go straight down your score column. So just go two and equals enters it in. Three equals four equals five equals. That's all my scores. And now I'm literally just going to go across and up back to the top. Um, and I, uh, my frequency for two is five. So 5 equals 10 equals 14 and 6. Now once I've entered them all in, again we just press this AC button and it sort of it takes us out of that and then we go back into that main stat menu. I mean I can check if you like, press number 2, look my data is still in there so that was good just to see. Um, and number 4 here, the one that says VAR, that's going to be where I get majority of my summary statistics. So if I click that number four, I have four options here. Now number one, which is my N, simply means the number of scores. Now if I have a look at actually over here at my data set, it says that I have a total, of, uh, a total frequency of 35, 35 scores here. It wouldn't hurt to just check if I press number one and press equals, if you press equals every time, and there we go, it actually says that I have 35 scores. That is a good check to do, just in case you've accidentally, I don't know, instead of putting in a 6, you've accidentally put in a 7, or, you know, accidentally made a mistake. Always a good check there. Um, if, you, if you did come up with a, a total number that wasn't 35, then you simply go back into your data and just check that everything's there is correct. Uh, but if it all, is all good, go back into number 4 again, and I have 2, 3, and 4. Now these are my summary statistics that are very helpful. Number 2 there, if you can see it, is an X with a little um, line above it. That's actually the symbol for my mean. So in order to find the mean of this data set, 
if I click number 2, once my data is all in there, press equals, well, I actually work out that the average of this data set is 3.6. There you go. That was nice and easy. Um, press AC to clear out of that. Go back into your stat menu, number 4. And now I have uh, 3 and 4 here. Now, both of these, 3 and 4, are actually what's called um, your standard deviation. Both of them are standard deviation. However, um, you'll see that this one has a little sigma. It's kind of like a, a zero with a dash above it. That's a sigma, a Greek S. Sigma X. And this one, number four, is an SX. Now, they're both standard deviation. However, this one here, the sigma X, the number three option, is for the entire population. Number four here is just for a sample. Now, depending on what my data is, if my data is of an entire population, you know, I'm, I'm either maybe collecting data on my entire class and that's all I'm interested in, just that population, then I want to choose number three in order to work out my standard deviation. However, if the data I'd collected was a sample of the entire population, so perhaps I was using just my class in order to work out, you know, the average or the, the standard deviation for... Um, all schools in New South Wales or all schools in Australia, then I would actually be using this data set as a sample and I would need to choose number four to work out the sample standard deviation. Anyway, let's just assume that this is for the entire population and we choose number three to work out the standard deviation and it will come out as a decimal so you know you may like to, to work out or ask whether it needs to be rounded to one decimal place or two. Um, let's, for the moment, let's just round it to two decimal places. And so my standard deviation is going to be 0 0.93. And I might just round, I might just write here to two decimal places, just so that we know. And there we have it. Um, that's how to work out the mean and the standard deviation using your calculator. It is a very quick and effective way, rather than adding every single score together and dividing by 35. A nice quick way and obviously um, the easiest way to work out your standard deviation. Now what you'll notice that now you're in stat mode, just a few little tips. Um, if you use this calculator regularly, you'll notice that uh, if you want to put in a fraction, all of a sudden now your fraction button isn't there. And so if you are wanting to put in, let's just say, four fifths, you'd go four and then you press it and this is actually four fifths. Now, if you can't handle this and you don't like uh, not having these little fraction buttons or whatever they are, um, then all you need to do is you actually need to change your mode back to number one. Okay, take it off stat mode, and there your fraction button will be restored. Um, that just means that you'll need to work, um, I suppose, get get good at changing between your stat modes and your, your normal calculator mode. Uh, because now we would need to go back into stat mode and, and start the whole process again. You'll notice that when I go back into stat mode, um, after already setting it up, my frequency column is already there. So that's nice and handy. Usually the, the only time that you'll need to do it is the first time you set it up and then it should be there. That's unless you, uh, you clear the memory in your calculator. So if you did, if you press shift and then number 9, oops, did I do that? Shift number 9 and you clear all of it, and you reset the memory, and yes I want to do that, and then I went back in, oops, I went back in and I went to stat menu, then I have my X column only, my scores, and I would need to do the whole process again and put in my frequency. But the more times you do it, the better you'll get at it, so that's my hint. Do it a few times, do it every now and again, and then, um, then you won't have any trouble when you need to do it in a test.